Hey YouTube land, welcome once again to another action figure review by Ty Trenders. And now before I proceed, just to say please forgive the messy background because the size of this thing as with the previous versions of well not previous versions but the previous other dinosaurs of this scale. Uh, I've had to move location because the box is big and the finished product is just as big. So here we have the box for the Jurassic World Dominion Dreadnoughtus. Now, if you're not familiar with this dinosaur, uh, it's it does appear in the new movie, in the uh, Dominion uh, movie. It, you kind of see it briefly and it's kind of half submerged in water when you see it, so you don't kind of really see the full scale of this thing, but it is absolutely massive as indicated on the box here it is 1.5 meters or five foot in length so it is a big dinosaur so we'll do the uh do the box first and then i'll bring out the old creature the, the creature itself and we'll go through this what's interesting to note as well with the box is this is released under the dominion line as opposed to the Brachiosaur and I think the Apatosaurus was, or were both released under the Legacy line. This is released under the actual movie itself. So, if I bring around the side, you can see it says Posable. There is an image on the other side of the box, which is in vertically, but it says the exact same thing and then has all the legalese stuff and the information. I'm sure you can see that at the top of the box about the, um, up here, about the data app. Then there's the instructions on how to put this thing together because there is a couple of bits that you have to snap together. Uh, these are one-time assemblies, so I have the this thing already assembled because it's, it's massive and big and dinosaur say. Now, unfortunately, uh, I believe these are packed two to a case. So there was one left on the shelf and it looks like when they were opening the box, at the, you know, the cardboard box that these come in, the... Um, Kind of brown boxes the must have sliced along the top on it it doesn't make a big difference to me because i'm not a box keeper i only have the box because i want to do the review for it so once the review is done i'll probably be chucking the box for it because i have nowhere to place it so that's it for the box and we'll move quickly onto the dinosaur itself okay and here we are onto this massive beastie uh, it is quite a big dinosaur so we'll just start with the head because it's up the top so the head does have a pivot point here at the neck which is interesting there is another joint down look further on the neck the head doesn't rotate it does look like it is a separate piece so it is attached separately the mount oh you can't even see that sorry uh the head does look like it is separately attached the mount does open and close just like with the brachiosaur and the apatosaurus um, which I will bring in at the end of this review so you can see the scales of these things. This thing, while not as tall as the Brachiosaur, it dwarfs the Apatosaurus, and that was a big, big creature as well. So there is a pivot point here at the neck to go side to side. I don't think it rotates. And there is an up and down hinge right here. So there is actual decent articulation on this thing uh hopefully I have it turned the right side around if i just bring it up slide it across because it is so big there is a data fax thing on the creature so if i just bring my camera in a bit closer you can see it hopefully you might be able to scan that i said sorry about the background but that this thing is just so so big uh, it does have articulation in the legs, so the legs rotate back and forward on both sides. I won't swing it around because I'm feeling I will knock everything over. The tail does swivel here. Now, this is where it connects into the body from the first part, and there is a connection on it. It's a one-way connection, and once it's in, it's not designed to uh, uh, fall, pull apart again. Uh, it is easy to put this guy the right way around because this is there is the uh, sculpting and well not sculpting but the paint work on the top so you can tell which is the top compared to the bottom there is one more articulation point you can see this here on the tip of the tail in fact if i move 
the tail goes all the way back here and you can just see the so this rotates as well this is pre-attached you have to connect this together or sorry you need to connect this onto there and then the neck connects into this and it is one big massive massive piece so it is quite a big 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 dinosaur and just to give you a scale on how big 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 this thing is but we'll just throw them up here just so you can see uh that is one of the human characters from the previous jurassic world um fallen kingdom line so you can see how big this thing is. goes so if i bring this to the front actually no if i bring this to the back and bring in the other ones we'll bring in the apatosaurus first because it's right next to me so apatosaurus is that big so we'll bring the camera along you can see dreadnoughtus dwarfs it by a mile practically it's a nearly an entire tail length longer an entire neck length longer it is a big 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 sauropod and then we'll bring in brecky oh, who is way taller than it because of the neck height but if the neck was stretched out which you can do with brecky source so you can see just length wise this thing still is massive compared to it. And then for another scale comparison with more human -y figures. But, uh, I need to move things around the place because these creatures are so big. And it's great that you get them in scale. Sorry if my arm is in the way. I'll just bear with me for two seconds. Uh, I think that is uh, it's actually one of the older ones, but it will do. What am I do? Give me a second. You can see the scale of these things. I just bring my camera down. And rotate it up. You can see just how massive this thing is compared to the human characters. There is paint work on the bottom of it as well, which I should note. There, it goes all the way along the bottom of the neck, but it doesn't go all the way to the tip of the tail. So if I bring it in again so it stops here just at the base of the main body but the, there's kind of underbelly paintwork which is quite nice um if I remember correctly the brachiosaur is the only one that doesn't have a huge amount of paint apps it's fairly just kind of washes and stuff whereas both the apatosaurus and the and dreadnoughtus here have actual kind of paint more paint work on them which is kind of cool. I do love the head sculpt on this thing. It is massive compared to. Uh, it's actually even wider. Man, these things are big to move around. You can see if I just bring in the head, maybe rotate it that way, and bring in the apatosaurus one behind it, or in front of it, the actual width of the head on both which is really hard to do the dreadnoughtus has a way wider head than the patasaurus which is kind of cool knocking things over by just move, moving it it is a huge 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 dinosaur so you'll need a lot of shelf space for this one if you intend to bring them into your collection uh same goes with any of the sauropods or at least the massive big ones these things are massive so i won't stick too much on this um uh qc issues i haven't had too much q uh, any qc issues with this i know some people said that they've gotten it where the paint is the plastic has stress marks on it but uh, i think that's just part and parcel of how big this thing is so there is that but overall i know you can't even see it fully in this shot because it's just so hard to get into some sort of decent location with everyone but all in all really good dinosaur it's 
just hitting shelves over here now. Uh, it should be hitting shelves, I think, in the States in the next couple of months, if not, if it's not already out there. But um, it is huge and it is massive, so I do recommend picking it up. But again, as I said, just stress that you need a lot of shelf space to put this thing somewhere, or floor space, whichever way you're going to put it. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick video review for Dreadnoughtus. And as I say in my videos, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Cheers, guys.